Alright, hi YouTube! Last stream we did a bunch of side quests and this time we are going to do another buttload of side quests. So we did sad stuff like the Torgo side quest, we, we helped the Dalmeki people, I got my dad's like thingamabobber. There's a lot, okay? So we're like this close, let me show you this close. This close to beating the game. But because I work from home and stuff, I don't really have a lot of time to play today. So we're just going to keep doing the side quests. Everyone says these are the best ones and they're super emotional and I'm ready to cry. Uh, but yeah, for those of you who don't know me, hi, hello. My name is Jester J. You can find me at twitch.tv slash J with triple Ys. I'm a Friday streamer here on Twitch. Uh, Final Fantasy has been, I don't know, I think so far, even though I haven't beaten it yet, it's probably my game of the year. But um, yeah, hope you enjoy. Come follow, come watch me live, it's a blast. Uh, comment pee pee poo poo or butts, that's our new thing. If you like the video. Uh, yeah, and there we go. That's, uh, that's how we do the thing. <laughs> the thing on the thing on the stream with the thing. Oh, I had to mute alerts. Holy shit. Where's my emotional support cat? There you go. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for everything. 10 10 recommend cool. Wait. Uh, Let's get that out of the way. <laughs> okay, so I think we're done here. I think that's what's that's what's up. Yes, that is what was up. So fuck. We got stuff here as well. Fuck. Okay. Well, I, and again, like I said last time, in my brain, I wanted to go left to right, so I was like, okay, like we'll do this and then do all this other stuff. So let's do that again. Hey, thank you so much for that lurk. What happened to the Waldo look? Listen, every stream I'm gonna dress differently, okay? Sometimes we're gonna, the breasts are gonna breast boobily, and sometimes I'm gonna look like a little boy, and sometimes I'm gonna be bright, and sometimes I'm gonna be fucking dark, and sometimes I'm gonna be Waldo. Or what, what did, what did fucking Celos call me? He said I was Pumpkin Freddy Krueger yesterday, and I was like, you know what? You watch your fucking mouth. Let's go. <laughs> Mark my fucking words. <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> it's fine. Unwavering it's fine. And an unbreakable bond. Do you really think it is we're a strong hate crime. To save the world? This is what this community does to me, dude. Just roasting me. Father's political enemies. Listen. That Anderson, Thank you, City. Thank you for being supportive. Mother was truly <laughs> capable. <laughs> like. I'm Perhaps telling you for I don't even know how long, like three years. Knowing he was with us would I would, made all the difference. I would just dress like Adam Sandler, like basketball shorts like and like t shirts and shit. And then when I would Straight dress really now. cute and girly, everyone was like, Wait, just you're a girl? It used to be like this running joke and now I'm just like, Who cares how I dress, bro? Like if I wanna be cute, I can be cute. If I wanna be Adam Sandler, I'll be Adam Sandler. It's fine. I like Odin's abilities. I just feel so fucking dumb. Okay, hold on. We're gonna cry or something. Hold on. Shh. Father always fought for what he believed was right. It wasn't until that night at Phoenix Gate that I realized. Look, I didn't I realize this was this serious. Anything. Okay. I always had someone else to do the fighting for me. No matter how fate conspired against him, he never lost heart, never looked back, never stopped fighting. To me, he was the greatest of men. Stop. I've been trying to live up to his ideals ever since. We all have, Clive. We all have. And we'll keep trying. Because that's what he would have wanted. <laughs> what he would have done himself. Even... If it meant standing against the very gods in the heavens. Good thing I was I laughing before this, this because I probably would have been crying, so. 
<laughs> you might watch over us. We're gay. As we follow in your footsteps. No tears will be had just yet. <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> Hi, Adobo. How you doing? Oh, I haven't had Adobo in so long. What kind of Filipino am I if I haven't had Adobo? Stop. What is happening right now? Stop, bro. Stop. The count. We won't lay you down. Not gonna get me. I got a tear in my eye. Onward then. But we're fine. <laughs> Onward. Can A, man. To the end. Stop. And to a new beginning. Stop. <laughs> it's not gonna be a happy ending. It's Final Fantasy, bro. When the fuck has there ever been an ending and it's actually fucking nice? Okay. God. Like. Final Fantasy 10, bro, that shit destroyed me. 13, destroyed. 15, surprisingly, even though I didn't like it as much, destroyed. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, shit. Dude, for real, and I'm a fucking baby, bro. Like, I'm very emotional. I can't help it. Is there more quests here? Wait. Hide <laughs> away, <do> stop. <gasps> uh. I saw a thing a thing. Okay, I was like watching other YouTube channels and then I saw that someone was asking this other streamer slash creator. They were like, oh, how'd you get this quest? They didn't do any of the side quests. So they didn't get Torgal's quest or something. Like I was like, damn, dude, you played the whole game without playing any side quests and now you can't experience sad ones? That's fucked up. That's some shit. <laughs> I literally still cry watching ah, Tan's ending. The man himself. We were just about to make a start on that sword. Oh, I oh you. yeah, the it's fucking funny, bling bling sword. But none of this would have been possible without your help. Oh my gosh. You remember Camille? We'll be using his level work for the grip. The steel, meanwhile, will be tempered in a fire, burning the cinders you charmed out of old salt and it. And that wet stone from the outer isles, that'll be what gives the blade its edge. And the final flourish will be my talented colleagues engraving. A team effort led by the greatest blacksmith alive. Now, now, save that talk to the things finished, yeah? Right. I'm ready if you are. To the bellows it is then. Damn, we're gonna... Two men are gonna double fist my sword? Shit. Mm, hi, Jenna. It's your forehead. No, oh, fuck. Well, bugger me. We actually did it. No. Oh. <laughs> that looks so sick. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know why it's I started pig squealing, but that shit looks so cool. <laughs> I uh, trust you'll take good care of it. Oh fuck. Thank you. That looks so cool. Both of you. So, does this make you pair the greatest craftsman alive? <laughs> this? <laughs> nah. This was just following the footsteps of the greats of old. It'll take more than that to earn us our place in history, but we're up for the challenge. Thank you for the sword. I look list of materials. stupid. Zoltan and I got talking on the long road, but we reckon with those items there, we could craft something even better than the Ragnarok. Huh? That's a weapon I'd like to. I was like, okay, sorry. Shut the fuck up. You stop. What do you mean, even better? Also, don't diminish Ten Story by saying it's all about absent fathers. One, leave me and my daddy issues alone. Two, Yuna and Titus's story. Okay, like I could see the ending in my brain, bro. Come on. <laughs> God or damn or recipe unlocked. <laughs> no. Stop. I don't care about the dads. I was just really hurt about Titus and Yuna. I wanted them to be together forever. And I mean, technically speaking, if you play 10 2, yeah. 
but that was why There's i was so sad dorky titus come on you don't like titus Listen, we're not not saying that Oron isn't daddy. Oron was daddy the whole time, okay? But also, I'm just saying what made me cry was Titus having to leave, bro. I'm like, I'm so sad. Biggie, thank you so much for the seven months. How you doing, homie? If Joshua was worried about Jill, <gasps> I should go and speak with him. Is this the quest? Oh, Jesus Christ. Helly, <laughs> she just had to die. It's fine. Oh my god, shit, dude, this is the one that I, I saw on its fucking Twitter, bro. I should do a try not to cry challenge, but I feel like that is nearly impossible with someone like me who cries over literally anything. Like I'll watch a TikTok video and it's like two happy cats or like a happy situation, and I cry. Like it's impossible for me to not cry. I read your message. You're right. <gasps> so Jill is different. I don't think I'd realized how different, but since we returned from Drake's spine, I felt it more and more. I suppose it's not hard to imagine why. She doesn't think she belongs anymore. And that's why we need to remind her she is still one of us. To let her know that we still need her. Now more than ever. That you still need her. But how to do that? Of course. Do you remember the time we accompanied Father on his annual tour of the Duchy, and Jill and I broke from the procession to ride up Man's Hill? <laughs> to see the snow daisies, I remember. This it is was the, the first one time I Father saw. had allowed us to join him. And when he realized you were missing, he had the entire retinue down to the pot oh. boys combing the countryside. <laughs> in the rain. <laughs> A thunderstorm forced us to take refuge in a grove of oaks before we'd even made it halfway there. It was the Lord Commander who finally found us, and needless to say, he was none too pleased. Then it seems you and Jill have unfinished business. Man's Hill. Oh. Uh. True. Though I suspect it is also much changed. Little in Southern Rosaria remains as it was when we were children. You're saying I should go and scout the area for bandits? <laughs> I'm saying... We should first go and see if there are actually still any snow daisies left. <laughs> what would you do without me, Clive? Stop. <sighs> Make for Man's Hill, okay. Hi, Punk Saw. Hi, Bredu. How you doing? Okay, I wasn't looking for spoilers. Like, you know how Twitter has what you call it? How do you explain this? Where the fuck is Man's Hill? You said Rosaria, right? Fucking, um, it's here, right? Around here somewhere. Anyway, Twitter has that stupid algorithm stuff. So I had seen it a little bit and then I was like, it's all chicks on your feed. I do love me some chicks. I do love me some women. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Did it say this way? Okay, 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 okay. But yeah, no, the, the algorithm does that to you. Come on. I swear the algorithm will know that you're a dude and it's like tits. Oh, Jessica, what are you doing? Is it, what do you mean? Is it, it's behind us? Oh, it's through a butt crack. Oh. You deserve a rest. Okay, 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 okay. Hmm. This is the place, but I can't court my I'm lady sorry, without flowers. Clive. There's no weapon spared. What do we do now? We keep looking. Man's Hill cannot be the only place where snow daisies grow. Perhaps, but it's the only place I know of you of then why not ask someone who might know of another someone at the backyard wow we have to go back to the hot when you ask questions you father muckers bro <laughs> i mean if you don't want to see titties you could just see less often or something with your algorithm but 
I swear the algorithm will know you're a dude and it's like they'll just show you a bunch of titty. Let's hope. One of the gardeners knows where to find snow daisies. No more flowers to show my boo thing, bro. Wait a second. Didn't they give me a better sword and then it didn't like auto equip it? But then they were like, oh, you should have fucking uh, find us a bunch of shit and then uh, some, 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 some. Also, sorry. Now I'm like, okay, did I get other stuff and you guys didn't like auto equip it or what? Cause that'd be fucking lame. That's that's what I'm fucking saying. You fucking shithead. Shathid. We say what you Wee. will. Listen, but sometimes I see really cool fan art. That's why I stay on the non sub feed on the for you page part of it. Sometimes there's like really, really, really cool fan art, and I'm like, oh shit. Oh, that's you, by the way. Oh, what brings you down from the heavens, Sid? I need your advice. Joshua and I are looking for a place where snow daisies grow, preferably <laughs> in abundance. Snow daisies. <laughs> then you'll want somewhere not too hot and not too cold, and where the winds are strong enough to carry the seeds. Uh. I reckon Man's Hill would be a good place to start. There in the Royal Meadows, perhaps? Both have similar climbs and the right elevation. If the Blight hasn't claimed them yet. Right. Did you learn where we might find our flowers? The gardener here mentioned the Royal Meadows in Sambrek. Ah, the fields beyond Northreach. I recall that she kept the record of our travels, you see. So I asked her if she'd perhaps noted anywhere that snow daisies grew. And she mentioned Oilerfeist Bay, whose shores border the meadow. I was gonna say, well, San Breck is San Gone now, so <laughs> San Breck just be a little bit of uh, toasty if you catch my drift. So, <laughs> wait, what was it called? Priceless. Unable to track any more quests. Untrack it then, still use. There was another quest. Another other quest, bro. <sighs> Hopefully it's just me turning something in. I think. Because I feel like I just like talked to that person out there. God damn it. It's okay. Tomorrow when we actually beat the game, I will prepare. I will be I will be prepared for tears. What is that full metal alchemist thing? Was it Roy? He's like a terrible time for rain or something like that. Send break me off a piece of that gig of more. It's so dumb. God. Wasn't it this dude? Let's see. The plains of Vida Grace have haunted my dreams since I escaped from the orphanage. I can't say I was looking forward to returning. What? Is that not? Is it just telling me? Even though I already picked it up, maybe that's it. So make for Mickleburg. Where the fuck is that? Is it way the fuck over here, bro? No, that place is ugly as fuck. Where the Mickleburg? More like Dinkleburg, bro. Where is it? Uh, try downstairs. True. I want to go downstairs. Dinkleburg. Is it in here? Is that what they said? I don't know. We're gonna look. <laughs> I don't know where it is. <laughs> Day Goldberg. Let me see. What's this one? Oh! Gang, gang! <laughs> Listen, they probably told me where it was this entire time and I was not listening, so. But I'm just gonna bum rush. Is there much at least mentioned where in Northridge he'd be testing this recruit? Also, I think to better myself in my brain. I'm just gonna fucking, uh... Confusing me. You just think. How many, Jessica, have you... have set to focus on? Jeebus. Jeebus age. Oh my god, it's still there. Never mind, I thought it would help. It didn't help. God damn it. Move, sir. 
have places to be. Good girl. Yeah. Okay, it wants me to go the other way. Wait a second. It's on the other side. Just kidding, Ambrosia. We gotta go the other side. Do, 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 do. There's not something over there. No. No need to ride from here. Nice. Here, then. On a cracker. God damn it. The way things are going at the garrison. Run. I would speak with this chick. <laughs> Saw the captain just now. Oh fuck. Still Hang the chicken, I think I added that other one, Pally, the one that's facing the other direction. The same one I put what in parties. That's my thing, like I'm kinda glad that you I've taken my school. sweet ass time playing this because I know There's that once I beat captain. it, I'm gonna have a hole in my heart and nothing's gonna hit the same, you know. Welcome back. Yeah, there you go. Do you two be thankful that seven TV emotes do not show up Come on. on that little chatbot that I have? Fly Ambrosia. The things that they are doing, disrespectful. Funny, but oh my god. I think I turned up my game too loud, but I, I feel like sometimes the vocals are like super 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 quiet and then the rest of the game is like hella loud the meadows are vast <laughs> beast where do we even start oh my Yote god mentioned the coastline we can start there what in tar nation i don't want to fight that hold on be safe oh wait so you gotta be like oh, wait a minute Stop it, stop it. Where, where are you at? Oh, so that's how you do it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna be real with you. I didn't know how to do that the entire time I've been using this. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> a stupid fucking emo, bro. Ready, go? Oh my god. Unbelievable, bro. Oh wait, never mind. Sorry, I'm addicting, addicting, addicted to riding Ambrosia. Even though like I only have to walk five feet. Yeah, they're bonering in chat. <sighs> they're just doing the damn thing, bro. Okay, let's see. Uh oh, Raggy. What's this over here, though? distractions as I get distracted completely listen they were a threat okay you never know what this <laughs> wait what are we doing search for snow stuff okay Josh Jershira I don't she no snow lilies are they in the butt crack? <gasps> Sorry, <laughs> I got excited. The flowers and our friends. How do you do it? The fuck? Oh, wait. I'm coming up. 
I fucked it up. <laughs> My bad. So that is so OP. Is what? It just kills everything. What? What do you see, boy? Oh, a chungus. Big boy. Let's hope this is the last one. Only a long way to find out. <laughs> oh, I'm trying because it's very cool and I feel cool, but then I feel dumb because I don't know how to use it, but it's okay. I kinda do. That was harder than I expected. That is what she said. Oh god. But found her. It was worth it. They're beautiful. Do you think Jill will like them? She'll love them. Come on. Let's go. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Try not to cry challenge. Suck up tears. Crying is for babies. To that of which I am the biggest baby. That's why we have emotional support. It appears support my work is done. The rest, as they say, is up to you. Well, you and the skies. We wouldn't want another thunderstorm now, would we? <laughs> they just leave the body there. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, she in my room? Of course she is. It's my boo. Phoenix, Odin, and Titan are your crime bill. I love Titan, bro. I don't know if this person's in chat. Listen. This game is not hard, okay? So like, I remember someone was like, you're using Titan wrong. It's like, dog, I'm punching people. I'm having fun, okay? There is no right or wrong way, okay? It's Final Fantasy, bro. Just, just have fun. That's it. Jill, there's something I'd like to show you. There is? And where might this something be? It's uh, not here. Now, I know this is sudden, but how would you fancy a trip to Oriflam? I'm already crying. <laughs> when I said <laughs> only babies cry. <laughs> My eyes are already sweating. <laughs> Stop. There are so many. This is what you wanted to show me. I, I, I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. 
The smile on your face is enough. We've been worried about you, Joshua and I. Do you remember when I took you to Man's Hill? God damn it. <laughs> Tried to. How could I forget? You saw me crying and thought a change of scenery might lift my spirits. In the end, it earned me a nasty cough and a stern scolding from your mother. But I felt wonderful nonetheless. I'm sorry. I had no idea what I was getting us both into. But I couldn't bear to see you like that. Before we left, my chambermaid told me she'd overheard your mother talking about my marriage prospects with some of the noblewomen at court. They were debating whether it would be more profitable to marry me off to one of the high wow. houses instead of saving me for the ducal line. No one thought to ask me what I wanted. I was nothing to them. A pawn at best. I felt so trapped. So lonely. I didn't know. But I wasn't alone. You were there. Your hand in mine as we ran for those oaks. And I knew then, no matter what happened, I would be all right. I'll never forget that feeling. Stop. Cute. Before we broke camp, the morning after the storm, do you know what I did? No. What? I slipped away from my governess to climb the tour. And from there, I saw a sea of petals, all reaching for the sun. And I realized... No matter how terrible the night, dawn would always come. Stop trying to make me laugh because it's working with your attack on the attack of the clones comment. That you, <laughs> that you would always come for me. All right. And you have again and again. Yeah, I'm sure he has. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> Where do you see us? When all this is over? Stop. I don't know. The music's so pretty. Not here, though. I think I've outgrown the twins. After everything we've been through the realm just seems so small i'll need some space to spread my wings then that's what you'll have stop bro and i'll stop at nothing to see that you do much good at garlands but it'll have to do i'll treasure it forever thank you it's so cute Clive, for this the flowers for everything it's exactly what i needed you are my treasure never beating the game ever <laughs> uh. <laughs> 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 no 
never. I don't want to beat the game. <laughs> no. I'm sad. We should probably be getting back. I expect the others are wondering where we are. This is where the You're game right. ends, chat. There's so much to do. <laughs> no. And we'll do it together. Oh, fuck. That's where the game ends. That's it. That's the finale. Thanks for playing. <laughs> okay. Uh, on to the next game. Remnant starts tomorrow, chat. Fuck. My life. Hi, Ponius. I am a mess. <laughs> also, <laughs> Pelly, that emote's been called your names. I put that in Carly's chat forever ago because it's an Italian. It's like this. <laughs> oh, do, 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 do. fucking sad, bro. Oh. It's an Italian and he's judging, so it's sorry. I gonna boogie you? Oh my god. If I'm crying like this already, bro, I'm gonna beat the game and be like not audible. I'm gonna just be like me 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 me. Fuck. Fuck my life, bro. Ugh, oh, hold on. I don't know I'm gonna cover those. Okay, okay. <gasps> I gotta breathe. Okay, we're okay. Everything's fine. I love this game. Game of the year. Crying is for babies. God. Can't believe you cried playing a video game, Jessica. Jeez. I remember one time. This is a J lore story. I had just played. Um, Do you see anything you game? like? Uh, what is it called? Life is Strange. Okay, I played Life is Strange for the first fucking time ever. And if you guys don't even know what that is, somehow, it's a very emotional game, okay? And so I reached a very emotional part of it and I was crying because I'm a baby back bitch. And then someone was like, why are you crying? I'm like, why the fuck are you in my stream? I do like why are you browsing this, this category? If not to see people react to this sad ass game, bro. But yeah, it was funny as fuck. I was like, what the hell? <sighs> anyway, so anyway, so we're done crying. Crying is for babies. There's still tears on my fucking face. You can see it, but it's fine. We have our coin. We have our coin. This? Yeah. Oh my god, I gotta blow my nose, bro. I'm nervous. Woo. Well met, Sid. This is the initiate. Ember, present yourself. At your service, master. Please, just sit. There are no masters here. Your life is your own. Oh, of course. Thank you, Sid. The sergeant says you'll be evaluating me at my trial. To become a scout, yes. I am. But I swore I'd face him. Just like the man who saved my life. And who would that be? Gav. It was him who found me and freed me. No magic, no support, just one man and his nose. Came and sniffed me out. <laughs> it taught me what one man can do if he puts his mind to it. And I've been training ever since so that one day I can be someone's savior, just like Gav was mine. <laughs> I'm sure he'd be flattered. Big sniffers. You clearly have good intentions, Emma. And it sounds like you're under no illusions. Stick to this path and you'll make a fine curse breaker. So, what? Have I passed? <sighs> you haven't even started yet. <laughs> Now listen. Oh God. Not far from here is an Imperial lookout, East Watch. The guards there record all their sightings in a logbook. You are to find it and bring it here. And bring it here, right. Anything else? No. Sneaking into a heavily guarded Imperial outpost and stealing the logbook would be quite sufficient. Hi, Dolly. You need to assess the situation, determine a point of entry, create a distraction and effect an escape, all without being discovered 
and thrown into an Imperial oubliette. Ember, Gav isn't our best scout because he can do everything. It's essential that you know your limits. Know my limits, right. I won't let you down. This, this young one's concerning me. But that field did remind me of Star Wars. That was funny. It shouldn't be as dangerous as I made out. On my way. Is All this right, kid Ember. gonna die? Trust me. Okay. How's the puppy, Dolly? How are you doing? How are things? Run like the wind. Uh. Damn, I'm gassy. I barely ate today, though. Oops. She's just doing them puppy things. Just wowing. Just so cute. These are clean kills. Perhaps you have a big is ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Maybe she not. do be a big old chinkum. Damn it. Ember, Ooh. draw your sword! God. Oh my god. Then run! Boy. Um, if you want him, you'll have to go through me. Yes, sir. <laughs> Slug. Slug. <laughs> My nails are too long, bro. Are you? What the fuck? Ember said fuck being Gone. a curse breaker, bro. Of course. Scouts really are a rare breed. <sighs> oh, damn. Back to Northreach it is then. Said fuck that shit, I'm out. <laughs> it's like, see you fucking later, bro. <gasps> Hi, Reg. How you doing? Hello, hello, happy Thursday indeed. I haven't seen on a Thursday in forever. Normally on Thursdays, I babysit my best friend's puppy. She has a like, golden doodle. But uh that was not needed today. I do love that dog though. Very fun dog. But that's why I don't stream on Thursdays. I didn't expect you back so soon. Where is Ember? I thought I'd find him with you. He must have fled. He was just standing there. Didn't even draw his sword. I had to step in and take care of things. But by the time I had, he was nowhere to be seen. Hmm. I assumed he'd set off in your direction, but... Apparently not. I knew the boy had a nervous streak, but... The right man... Oh, he's back now? I believe this is the logbook you tasked me with retrieving. Eh? How did you... Don't you tell me you breached the tower while Sid was busy saving your skin. What? Wasn't that what you asked me to do? To bring the thing back without getting caught? He has you then, is there? Oh. And he did it all on his own. But Sid, he... He did what he thought was best. He bested you. And now I have to decide whether I agree. Of course. Don't you leave my sight. 
I don't agree. Yes, but... mm. Kind of like get scared by an enemy, bro. This won't be an easy decision. Okay, we also have stuff at the veil. <laughs> Want to babysit your dog, though, son, from another firm? <laughs> I'd love to babysit all the dogs. I can't have a dog right now. I don't have, you know, the what does the finances or space about? for a dog, but I love dogs. I would speak with this Jew. Saw the captain just now. He did the thing at the least amount of. Yeah, Your that's true, Batman. You. That's true. see do you have a moment clive what is it it's the duke oh, unsurprisingly his eminence has assumed full control of the garrison and put every able-bodied man to work on the fortifications the town was left all but unguarded so philippe was compelled to form a citizen's watch to fill the void and though my dear boys have been characteristically willing to assist him in this they want for bodies so i was wondering if you would lend them your strength. Sure thing. Of course. Whatever you need. Sure you, thing. Clive. What would I do without you? Don't talk to me all seductively. I'm taking had men stationed at. Where can I find the mistress of this establishment? Here, my lady. To whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? My name is Sabine, and it is my displeasure to be the daughter of the Duke of Oriflam who I understand is causing you and your town no small amount of trouble. I wish to speak to you about what might be done. Very well. I trust you'll forgive me, Clyde. Absolutely. Please. As you know, my father is a most overbearing and supercilious man, and I join you in objecting to his every action. Indeed, I owe you my thanks for continuing to argue against his reckless plans. Yet I fear he is not one to be swayed by reason. He must be made to face the consequences of his actions. And who would make him do this. I would. Myself and several other like-minded individuals. Were you to join us, we would surely have the strength to drive him from Northreach for good. Does that not seem a trifle drastic? Drastic action is <laughs> precisely what is called for. Unless you are content to see your people downtrodden and dispossessed, my father would have it that citizens exist only to serve the empire that they should be forced to make every sacrifice to ensure her revival. But he is wrong. He's all scornful of the opinions of anyone, but he cannot be allowed to ride. R we must fight him. Response. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm gonna usurp her. No, whatever the. I'm fast. I can't. But she talks like that because she is basically the head of the brothel. So that's why she talks like so soft and sexual. Am I really gonna teleport? Yep. <laughs> and it's right there. Yes. Walking. No. Teleporting? Yes. He never coin. Yeah, it's that lady. It's so that you're content one. To abandon Please, I beseech you. If you are a true son of Northreach, you must fight to defend your home. That's exactly what I am doing, milady. Or trying to, at least. Even when our true enemy is hiding in the garrison. Fine. You're not the only able-bodied man in Northreach. Thank you so much for your help. Ooh, the emphasis of the P. Help. She cornered you too, then. Could hardly get a word in edgeways. Like father, like daughter, eh? She made an uninvited appearance at the Vale earlier, hoping to convince the dame to join her in ferment. <laughs> I bet that went well. Her ladyship seems to have a way with people. Anyway, what brings you here? Our mutual friend thought you might welcome some help. Oh. She did, did she? Right, as always. In fact, you're just the man. We've had some reports, you see. Sightings of, uh, you know what. They're back. Seems that way. We haven't been able to confirm anything yet, but... Right. You know, Grieger's weep. Aren't they? That's oh. where we're going, Grieger's weep. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes they be talking so much, and I'm like, bro, please. Please. I don't think that's the Let's same one. Is it? Under new management? That's the same quest? That's right fucking Master. there. The fuck? Down the street? 
the hell? <sighs> oh my gosh. The reports were true. Come here, fuckers. I need fuckers. to stop them before they get to the town. <laughs> I keep doing it every time I do the super. Just a long male life, bro. Get him. Make sure. Okay. Anytime someone texts me at a weird hour, I'm like, I don't know if we're like good or not. That was the anime finish as fuck. Call that a test, Ultima. Clive. Don't it's bring me. Ultima into this. Are you alright? I am. But it seems the reports were true. The thralls have returned. I dispatched the few that I found, though. Well, that's something, I suppose. But what were they doing south of town? They all came from the north last time. We might be able to fend off an attack from one side or the other, but from both? Do you have eyes in the north? Some. I should probably go and have a look, though, just to be sure. You head back to Northreach. I want you there just in case war breaks out while I'm away. What do you mean? Her ladyship's been busy working her magic on the townspeople, stirring up ill feeling towards her father. What? <sighs> This is exactly what the dame was afraid of. I'll do what I can to calm things down. Be careful out there, all right? Don't worry, Yo, I'm not what's like up, you. Celis? He says it's beer. It's the beer time on Thursday night. Shit. It do be Thursday night. Uh oh. Do you not see, father? The people of Northreach have given enough, and only a fool would ask for more. Listen to me, Sabine. Where would our people be without their country, hmm? The Empire is their sword and their shield. It is she that ensures they can live without fear. And now she teeters on the brink. Without their sword, how will the people fight? Without their shield, how will they protect their kin? Can the unarmed stand against the advancing hordes? No. But there is yet hope. A new shield, a new sword. A new empire. We can rebuild Sandbrek, just as great Grieger wills it. Perhaps we could, father. But we don't want to. Not if it is built on the broken backs of the people. Please. I was that literally thinking that, Celis. <laughs> You must see Funny. that no good will come of this. Our fight is not with each other, but with the threat that draws ever closer to our gates. A threat that your sword has yet to rid us of, your eminence. You will hold your tongue, whore! <gasps> you may have filled my daughter's head with your heresy, but I will not be corrupted! Corrupted? Your daughter's opinions are her own. 
as you would know if Call you had ever deigned to listen to her. At least I hope they are your opinions, and not posturing born of a family feud. Northreach deserves better than that. Northreach deserves better than you, Carla. Slap his ass. Yes, I know who you are. The slut of Twinside who bedded a brandit. <gasps> Jealous, are you? Oh. That a woman might choose a bearer over a pious man of Griga. Oh. Hi. I met a swarm of throws coming south from Oriflam. Hundreds of them. Too no. many to count. Oh, fuck you. Oh, no. shit. Work on the fortifications has scarcely begun. We will retreat to Care Norvant and there make our stand. Did you hear me? That was an order. While this is but a heartfelt plea, let us make our stand here and protect our homes. Protect those that we love together for Northreach. You heard the dame. What are we waiting for? Pikemen to the gates, archers to the roofs. Quickly, come on. Quickly. She is but a common whore, yes. <gasps> and we'd follow her to the gates of hell. That's kind of like a backhanded compliment, but I get what he was trying to say. <laughs> I mean, technically speaking, I mean, her occupation is of that, but damn. The fuck? <laughs> That's kind of funny. It's okay. You see her forehead. The men had their orders, and they looked like following them. I got them spaced out at regular intervals. Thank you, Philippe. Rest assured, the people will play their part. Should any of your men be injured, take them to the Vale. Thank you, my lady. I'll play my part too. You still want for numbers. Unlike the enemy. I only hope I can go some way to evening the odds. Philippe, can I leave the South in your hands? I doubt the thralls by the lake were the last of their number. Of course. I'll lead a party down that way so we don't get taken by surprise. What about you? I'll make my way up the road to Oriflam. I fought a few of these things. All right. Thank you. You can thank us when it's till then, but sorry. I just speed read it in my brain. Yeah, like who cares, bro? Y'all be y'all call her whore. You're still gonna fucking begins. tap it when you want it. So fuck. Yeah, these side quests are much better, much more risk and feel very important and stuff and yeah I, I think the voice acting is very good i just feel like there's too much conversation to be had like once i get to the point i'm like okay shh you know like i got it like kill enemy or flam cool you know like that's all i need i don't need anything else don't need more talking <laughs> let me fight the things and kill the things there are so many of them <laughs> yes so less talking we're fighting <laughs> Oh, there's a, is a bunch. Oh, you hit me like that, bro.
tell you how to do the game. <laughs> I like ending the fight like that. It does make it very anime. Very, very, very nice. Me likey. That looks to be the last of them. I wonder how the others fared. Better hurry back to town. I can only ever think negatively. I'm like, oh god, something bad's gonna happen. Gosh. Okay, everything's fine. <sighs> Clive. It's good to see you. And you. The road to Oriflam is clear. How did you and your men fare? Well, we ended up fighting for our lives down by the lake. Glad to hear it. Well, it seems we've survived. I thank you both for answering the call. You were right. And I was wrong. About everything. I had thought that mm. the only way to unite the people was under the banner of empire. That without a strong hand to guide them, they would drift apart. To be... Born hither and yon by the eddying currents of fate. But you brought them together. Not by force, nor by the exercise of goddess-given authority, but by simply being one of them. Our purpose was ever the same, your eminence. The sexy voice is back. You were merely distracted by a loftier vision of empire and glory, while our eyes beheld matters closer to home. You have the right of it again, as did you, Sabine. His radiance said it himself. Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. I forgot that. And I am sorry. I, at least he said sorry many times. I'm sorry too, father. Look, I, all I is good again. I should never have taken things so far. I only wanted you to understand how the people felt. How I felt. But my anger got the better of me. Do not blame yourself, my dear. This was my doing. I should have listened to you. To all yeah. of your eminence, the... your ladyship. I do not doubt that you came here with the best of intentions, but I believe the same could be said of us all. We all want safety, security, prosperity, not just for Northreach, but for the entire realm. And we may yet achieve it. Will you join us? In... Thank you. Now that that is settled, I must go and see to the wounded. And today there are more than ever before. My brain is piecing the side quests together i'm like oh every time we go to these cities and see our friends again they're working together and madam isabel is a rare becoming soul big old indeed. families bro in these dark times i see that it is not men like me who should lead the realm but women like her preach right. if only i'd listen to her when i had the chance forgive me for saying so my lady but you still do. The dame said it herself. And that goes for you. You're one of us now. One of you. Well said. Well, I should see if Isabel needs any help moving the wounded. Yeah, let him talk. I throw her. Hello. Can we get you anything? Uh, what was I gonna say? God diddly damn is what I was gonna say. There's no need to worry anymore. Yeah, everyone's all independent now. They don't need the help of me. I saw several soldiers being carried to the Don't need climb anymore, bro. Ugh. It's like everyone in the veil too. Yeah. How we trying to say, of the city? Wounded. Hmm? Hmm? I'll be happy I'm to put on one say. end of a stretcher if it would help. <laughs> You've helped quite enough for one day. Yeah, frozen. Hmm. Thank you. Hmm. Don't mention it. Oh, but I must. After all you've done for this town, it is the very least you deserve. Tell me, if Northreach had fallen, what would you have done? A woman of your means could find a home anywhere in the realm, but I sense you would rather have died here. It's a long story. For you, madame, I have all the time in the world. Not like that. <sighs> story time, grab popcorn. Very well. Long ago, I had a life in the Crystalline Dominion. I was Carla then, courtesan to the nobility. Mm. So sought after was I that it was only they who could afford my time. Alas, damn, those halcyon days were not to last. For naive as I was, I fell in love with a bearer. 
He was my master's guard. The gentlest man I have ever known. After they discovered us together, he was whipped bloody and forbidden from ever looking at me again. Hmm. And so we fled. Not that we had anywhere to flee to. We wandered, aimless and starving. Half dreading, half praying that the next day would be our last. Until we found ourselves here, in Northreach. It was the veil that took us in. That fed us, clothed us, and healed our hurts. Mm -hmm. Those that could be healed, at least. My love was already too far gone. That's sad. He passed away. He did. Not long after we arrived. But at least we were able to share a few moments of peace before the end. It was the greatest gift I have ever received. But the generosity of this God town it. and her people did not end <laughs> there. The men and women of the Vale supported me through my grief. Shared in it, though I was still a stranger to them. They treated me like a sister. And so I swore that I would always do the same. That I would return the kindness that Northreach showed me. That I would repay my debt to the Vale. Thank you, Isabel, for sharing this with me. <laughs> You're a lot like him, you know. Aww. Perhaps that is why I have such a soft spot for you. Never stop fighting, Clive, and I shan't either. I know that it will not be easy to keep Northreach together. But our efforts will be rewarded. Just look at us now. The people, the soldiers, even the Duke of Oriflam and his daughter, all united in defense of this town that we have come to call our home. And what of you? Can we count on your support too? Always. Uh, says always, but um, I don't know about that. What did we get? Stuff and things. Okay. We got another one over here. This game's gonna take my heart out and rip into a thousand bajillion million pieces. She's fucking Batman. She gets to have my support always. Of course, bro. For a pretty penny. Can I run to the vineyard? Oh shit. Sandakukan. How do you say it? Sandakukan. Oh, it's this this motherfucker. His people. Fucking quitting with his Quinton. devil eyes. Stoned as hell. I have a proposal for you. Do you now? Something tells me you'll be asking more of me than a cask of goat and gold. Go on then. Ooh, what kind of wine? His eyes literally. He looks stoned. You have me convinced the chiefs and chamberlains of the realm that they should simply swallow their pride and do the one thing that has proved impossible for thousands of years. Was there anything else? Perhaps I can fetch you a meat pie as well. I know it's a lot to ask. A little meat pie? But I can think of none better suited to the role. <laughs> and you'd have me give up what little I have left to do it. I told you, Clive, the people of Lost Wing are my family. You'll have to find someone else. I'm sorry to hear that. So am I. And why might that be? What he's asking? How's it any different to what you've done so far? They want you to speak for those who can't speak for themselves. That's what you do best. <laughs> if it's the vineyard you're worried about, we'll see that the grapes are picked and the tons filled. You know we will. It's not that. Then what is it? You said yourself we're family. Don't you trust us? You know that's not what I'm... Then what are you saying? that only we are worth saving. Why turn your back on everyone else? You convinced us we could build new lives for ourselves. And if you can do that, who's to say you couldn't convince the entire realm? Hmm. A stirring argument. I fear that any rejoinder I make might fall somewhat flat by comparison. So you'll join us? <laughs> Where do you need me? Field Marshal Havel will want to speak with you in person. 
He's currently in Porta Zolda. I could arrange for a party of curse breakers to accompany you there. That would be very much appreciated. I hear the roads are far from safe these days. <laughs> Hopefully not for long. <sighs> My uncle will want to know that his plan is taking shape. Okay, so that quest is done. So then we gotta look around. Let's see. No, wait. Was there anything else in this area? Nor. So. <gasps> we're getting shit done. Oh, fuck. All right. We're catching up with these side quests. We're almost done. Oh, God. Ooh, a meat pie from Jamaican shop down the street. You know, I've never had Jamaican food, but that sounds so fucking good. Sounds delicioso. Oh shit. This is where Odin showed up and was talking mad shit. <gasps> Damn, why is that one so far? It says a thousand something. Oh shit. Go this way first. Jamaican. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Jamaican me hungry. I cannot. I'm starving though. For real, for real. Oh god. So hungry right now. But it's okay because we're gaming. Gamers don't need to eat food. Are you kidding me? Dang, you got booed. I'm gonna boo you, Pelly. Damn, I thought that was your bestie. It's crazy. Unbelievable. Okay, so can I summon? Yes, I can. Come on. Yep, we Master. run. Wait, what is that? No, it's this way. Sorry, friends. Go up that way, go up into the Stomach looking thing. Go up and around. Oh god. So oh great. What the fuck? <gasps> Kill two birds with one stone, baby. Bow, 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 bow. Look who's here to meet us. Oh, you did it. Oh, shit.
What the fuck? He froze in the air? <laughs> oh, that's fucking funny. Jill is powerful all her own, okay? She got the mastery of Shiva. I have not tried Muhammad, but I think after I'm not gonna stream it unfortunately for you guys, but I do wanna play this off stream and uh try everything out and get all crazy with it, you know what I'm saying? I wanna get all crazy cool with it. Oh, I already got this one. Is this an ability you have to like put on? No, right? I think Odin's cool. I just feel like it's more of like a... Uh, like, I feel like I still suck with him, but he's just like... He's my play style. Like, I think in every game that I play, I'm very much... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, in people's faces, like I enjoy... Like, Titan, for example. Like, I really, really, really like to be like up in the enemy's face, nonstop, like hitting them and whatever the fuck, but... I think in my second playthrough, I think I might try the harder mode, but um, I would like to see how far I can go, you know what I'm saying? But Bahamut is something I would like to try for sure. Might this be Nickelback? Oh, <gasps> Nickelback! Chat right Nickelback! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the first time we heard this, the other stream I did, it sounded like they said Nickelback. Ooh, Kriko, yum. And the village seems safe enough at least. What is going on here? Oh, they praying. Ah, did you too heed the call? Heed the call? It's a cult. No, I... I came here looking for someone. To be God. honest, I... I wasn't sure I'd find him here. Let alone all of you. Hmm, is that so? What are you doing here? Is this... where you live? It is my home. The others... they... they heeded the call. You keep saying that. <sighs> what do you mean? They came here. To perform the rite, just as King Barnabas instructed. This village is that altar. Oh where gosh. They shall cast their souls upon the gentle waters and give themselves to the Lord. Give themselves. Oh Lord, cleanse us of our sins. Let us be reborn in your loving arms. Free us from the torment of this mortal realm. Oh, it is a cult, bro. They want to be saved. Forgive me. But did another foreigner like me come here? He was probably wearing a cowl. Hi, OJ. You mean the traveler from Stone? Yes. He's staying at my house. Thank you. Whoa. They seek the same salvation Barnabas did. At least the third chair still lives. Let's go and find him. Mm. Let us be made. Thanks, OJ. So nice to see you. Love a good cult. I do miss our cult days. Cult of Bussy. What else? What other cults do we have in Cult of the Lamb? Just Bussy in general. What the fuck is going on in here? At least he's alive. Excuse me. Are you with the Undying? I am. And so it would appear, are you Lord Rosfield? If I am not mistaken. That's right. And you must be the third chair. I am. Cyril was worried for your safety. Then I must apologize. I did not mean to trouble the bearer of the burning quill. He said that you had failed to report. 
Is there a reason for that? I came here to study the followers of this new faith. But the more I learned of them... Oh no. <laughs> the more my own faith began to falter. You have seen them at their prayers. Oh god. Have you not? They devote themselves to the veneration of their lord with a fervor I have never seen before. Praying night and day that they might be rid of their wicked will. Not that they might be granted respite from their worldly woes, but so that they might continue to serve him. Serve him with all of their being. I too swore to devote my life to the service of my lord and master, but this... It is different. Is it? I don't know, I don't like this. So I would see it through to the end. See these people safe. That they might achieve their dream. That they might do their duty to their lord. You do understand what their dream is, don't you? I do, my lord. They would cast aside their wills and become Akashic. I know that it may be hard to believe, but to these people, that is the very essence of salvation. Forgive me, my lord. But I must remain here. Jesus is here. Them, my lord? I'll go and find out what. You know, I never had on the border. I think I've seen that though. I want curry, but I feel like for me, curry has to be had like when it's not hotter than Satan's left fucking nut. It's been like 105, 109, so I like curry when it's colder. For sure. flood. Oh no. But I like sweet curry because I'm a baby. Be I can do. You can't have spicy stuff. It goes as well. Don't they want to be a cash? Like, isn't this like just what they kind of want, Loki? can't handle spicy stuff unfortunately that's why i don't eat spicy stuff my tummy gets all hurty and then i die now? for days Ooh, bitch bring out a demon please Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> we meet again Killed your kind before. Titus. Ah! Oh, 
people fucking everywhere, bro. Chill. Chill. How are you getting me when I'm talking, bro? Stop. It's so Oh, this game is lit AF. 100 emoji. Yeah, I'm actually happy there's not any cactuars though, or tonberries, because they'll scare the fuck out of me. <laughs> They're so hard, bro. <laughs> They're so scary in other Final Fantasy games. We did the thing. Fun. I like fighting the big boys. Damn it. Was that necessary for these horrid people? What? Don't you die? Come on, speak to me. I had to save them, that they might have a chance to find true salvation. Damn. By devoting themselves to the service of their lord. Just as I did when the undying plucked me from the gutter and gave me a cause to believe in. A duty to serve was everything to me. And I would not deny them that fulfillment, even if they must become a Kashik. Oh man! In order to achieve it, forgive me, my Lord Marquis. I did not mean to trouble you with this. My findings. Could you deliver them to Master Cyril for me? I guess. Of course. Your duty will be done. Rest in peace to this guy. Ah, look, my lord. They are saved. Yeah, what I say? They were gonna be become a Kashuk anyway. Because they're in the ether flood. Yep. There they go. That's what they fucking wanted. Hey, at least you got to see that before he died, I guess. Yeah, basically you're dead. That's what they meant by being saved. So basically, Odin thought that that was like the true people. Like he thought like humans in general were like not worth it and everyone should be a cash egg or something or like I think we were a Kashyyyk first, is what he was saying. I don't saved. fucking know, but that's what their Found salvation that. and saving was. He's returning to back to being a Kashyyyk, which is basically a fucking zombie. So, you don't want to do that. I mean, if you want to live. So. Um, I think he goes Super Saiyan by himself. I don't think you can make him go Super. My Lord Marquis. He's just at a random, I think. Welcome back. I am glad to see you. But if anybody and knows, whole, let us I know. I met with your third chair, Cyril. He bade me deliver his findings to you. Thank you. He remained in Ash. He died protecting the villagers from an echo. I buried him in Mickleburg. I'm sorry that I couldn't save him. If you could not save him, no one could. The villagers, they were. Believers in this savior cult. They prayed to their god that they might be unburdened of their wills. Then an ether flood came. And 
their wish was granted. The cult succeeded, I guess. sacrificed himself that they might live, even knowing that that life was death by another name. Then he perished defending liberty. For the right to choose how one dies is no less sacred than the right to choose how one lives. <laughs> Sid would agree. He wanted to build a world where people could die on their own terms. A noble ambition. To die for one's cause is the most perfect expression of one's faith. It matters not how misguided others might judge one's decision, only that the decision is one's own. We live according to the teachings of our order. For better or worse, that is our creed. Well, damn. But he didn't die for your creed. He died to save them, and you still believe that what he did was right. I believe that he believed it was. We of the Undying are not slaves, <laughs> but willing servants. And this was his will. <sighs> I'd like to know this man's name, Cyril. To know the names of all the Undying who've fallen in the line of duty. They died serving my house. It's only right that I remember them. That is my duty. Of course, I shall fetch the Book of Martyrs at once. My lord, it has been and shall ever be the greatest honor of my life to serve House Rosfield. Though our duties may differ, yours is no less important. Mm. I pray with all my heart for your success. And were they here, I have no doubt but that every one of my fallen brothers and sisters would feel the same. Why are you hearing Margaret from Elden Ring? Is that him? I don't know. That's where I stopped playing Elden Ring. I was right around Margit, Margot, whatever the fuck his name is. Hi, Lash. Hi, Ember. How y'all doing? Hello. I mean, it's them British, the British accents. I don't know what this guy's name is. I forget. I forget. But I don't know if it's the same guy in Elden Ring, though. I'm not sure. They open up my mind. Oh, shit. Did they teleport me fucking not anywhere near where I was? Okay. Okay, so we got some questies here. Cults are crazy, man. Nuts. But when you take people who have trauma or have, you know, a lot of demons, it's easy to corrupt minds who are seeking, not necessarily salvation, but it's very easy to corrupt people who are seeking, like, love. Usually, a lot of cults use love as a ways of mind control but yeah it sucks i watched and listened to a lot of true crime shit so my brain is just flooded with very horrible information <laughs> the horrible and like i wouldn't say like i guess it's good to know some things but we need to get back to the gym what was the gym day today what did you work out why is there all these bitches bitching right here we're just chilling all right, I guess. That's tight. All yours, Come here, fuckers. Oh. Yeah. At the end of the day, everybody wants to accept it. So whether it be like... From your family, you know. Buddy, dude. That was so cute. 
But yeah, cults. Watch out for that shit. <laughs> it's crazy. I was learning about like newer aged cults, and I think what's that actor's fucking name? The one then like who played the shitty Joker in Suicide Squad? What the fuck? Singer of Thirty Seconds to Mars. He apparently had some weird little fucking sex cult thing recently. Jared Leto. Yeah. Abandoned. No. Yeah, I watched the Charles thing. Like a bookworm. Then. Like a deep dive on him and i was like oh jesus guys that's fucking creepy Ooh, wait there's so many blue things give me the light please morbius you know i watched morbius willingly it was on netflix at the time but he do be handsome for 50 he looks like he's like 35 or some shit but um yeah he's got some weird cultist type shit bro it's very very strange it's a morbid time that movie was so hard to follow. Like, I love movies and I love all types of movies, but that movie was so fucking dumb. <laughs> it was so stupid, bro. I was like, bro, I can't. Why are they making these? Enough. Uh, why fly my green? I don't know. It's a recipe of some sorts. Okay. This is a Royal Army logbook. Mm. Did he take this from the local barracks? That's true, too. It is. There's definitely a really sour power dynamic. Like, when you have, like, even if you're, like, a content creator or, like, you know, an internet person, like, you can also create your own little cult, right? Like, if you have people that follow you and believe everything you say and what you do, like. Oh, <gasps> are we not a cult? I just hope that. If I ever did something that is wrong or not okay or whatever the fuck that, you know, someone checks me instead of like being like, oh, nope, this person's right all the time and yoda yoda yoda. Uh, the Moogle. No spirit friend. Blah, 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 blah. What the fuck am I even doing here? I'm gonna be real with you. Which, which quest is this? Oh, wait. Maybe I just need to read everything. Oh, shit. This is it. Yeah. But if what it says is true, I need to get this back to the hideaway. Yeah, no, like, I feel like it's easier said than done, especially if you have, like, a gigantic community, of course, like, like, you know, like, Pokey level, Valkyrie level, they just follow you very sheepishly, but for some of my size, so soon, stranger. I think it's good when we're all our own little people, you, you know, from a distance. <laughs> so Hi, Soka. How Subtle. you doing? No cult here, man. And we need not waste time on introductions. Hand me the book. Oh, shit. Leave it in our care and return to your life. Oh shit. Your care? Do you mean to burn it or bury it? That is not my decision to make. But by one means or another, its contents shall be removed from the common record. Then I'll have to politely refuse. I won't let you erase our history. Then we find ourselves at an impasse. Well, we're about to kill Very each other. Well. Let's go. Yeah, the Travis album better fucking hit. It comes out tonight, right? <gasps> Ooh, the Chungus. Love me a good Chungus. Get him! Yeah. for the most part back to like talking about cults it's a lot of hurt people you know i think a lot of us have trauma or experiences that make us easily manipulated you know 
It's very sad. Not good. I don't get to fight him. Impressive, but we have other means. We shall claim the book yet. Why do you want it so badly anyway? It lays out in no uncertain terms the vanity and avarice of mankind. It tells the shameful history of the persecution and oppression of a gifted few by a giftless many. Would you say that this interpretation was correct? I don't know. You don't know. Your sword may be sharp, <laughs> but your wits are dull. So let me answer for you. There is no correct interpretation of history. That a series of events took place may be proved beyond a doubt. But there can be no single immutable explanation as to why they came to pass. It is a question of numbers and of belief. If enough people believe that a set of events occurred for a reason, that belief becomes the truth. Bro, he's so you're trying to control the truth. Right now. He's we are trying spitting. to protect people from themselves, from knowledge that would bring them naught but pain. That is all. You may keep the book for now. The world is small. We shall meet again. Until then. Yeah, but I mean like wait. Damn, he just disappeared that fast. Damn it. So, I'm sorry. Let's get this back to Vivian. Perhaps she can explain what that was all about. If I remember correctly, the whole point was that Vivian wanted the book because it tells the history of what happened to the bearers, right? Us, our people. But like, wouldn't you want that history to be told? Even if it's a sad one? You know? It's like literal slavery. Let's right. go. So is the guy trying to say that he doesn't want that history told? I haven't eaten yet. Well, I ate this morning at nine o'clock and it's six, so my brain cells are not a brain salad, but <laughs> it's okay. I got dinner already waiting for me, but the the processes are very slow. We gotta control all delete my brain. I got some chicken, some chicken and potatoes. Woo! All right. Chickens. Ooh, like not a sandwich though. You know what I like to do is make a, a chicken sandwich with rotisserie chicken. Put a little bit of cheese, maybe some lettuce and tomato. You know, I'm fine. I used to fucking hate tomatoes, and as I got older, like low key tomatoes, fuck now. Like, I don't know what it is. Straight home now. Vivian is, babe. She's beautiful. What am I here for? What is that? I want to fight this. Cute. Pure bonus. I'm gonna shock you. Damn. Oh, you really missed Joshua? No, that's the best with the free chicken is a uh, taco. I could eat like a whole bunch of free chicken, honestly. <laughs> this shit is so good. This one. Display, brother. Oh my gosh. Oh, <gasps> your rotisserie was dry from Costco? That's a fucking criminal offense. Lay to rest. What is this quest? Uh, bury the rings at the grave. Of oh shit! This is for that guy. Aw, wait. So there you go. If I was a grave, I'd be at a hilltop somewhere. Oh, can I fucking bury it? The view's nice. This place reminds me of Elden Ring a lot. It's very like dark and sad. Able to see all the way to stone here. The music's very also dark and sad. Literally retweet Sellers. As fine a resting place as any man could hope for. Reunited with those he loves at last. Oh. Eddie, fucking same. Honestly. <laughs> I was watching some people play and I was like, damn, I could never. My brain can't process like that. But that's okay, because we have fun and we're still enjoying the story. We don't have to be super, super, super good, you know. 
It kind of made me want to replay Devil May Cry 5. I haven't played that. Devil May Cry. Oh, isn't it isn't the intro of menu screen? Have you not played it before or you want to like replay it? I played it when it came out, but it's been many a moon, you know? You play one hour. Bitch! Why are you always playing so many games at one time? <laughs> Red Dead Redemption is really good though. I'm gonna be fucking for real with you. I'm sad that I remember so much of that game. Normally I don't remember shit, but I remember so much of that game and that game hit so hard for me. Leave me alone, Chocobo Hose. I have one of the songs from the ending of Red Dead Redemption on one of my playlists. And I was like listening to it while I was getting ready for stream. So fucking good. Oh, sorry, Ambrosia. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to run through these trees. I'm sorry, girl. Very, very cool game. <gasps> Ooh. I can walk from here. <laughs> this must be the orphanage. Oh, shit. Hopefully the registry is still here. It's too quiet here. Oh, God. It's locked. I should look around some more before I start breaking down doors. <gasps> A back door. Hell yeah. No? What? Another door. Lots of gaming soundtracks have been so fucking good. Like God of War Ragnarok as well. Another one where it was just like, oh my God, it's so fucking good. Kingdom of Alud hereby incorporates this institution wherein juvenile bearers are to be granted the opportunity to be given themselves in service to the state of soldiers. That is so fucked up. Do their kids. Oh, uh, damn. Conditioning. This is nothing short of torture. Herman wasn't exaggerating. I uh, recently learned that my own daughter was among the children turned to oh turned to stone by the brutal training I subjected them to. I had not so much as thought of her since handing her over to the authorities as a babe. But inquiry what? Inquiries with the military confirmed it. It was her. I had been torturing my own flesh and blood. And now I see her everywhere. Today, one of the children smiled at me in the hope of receiving a few scraps from my table. It was her smile, the smile she inherited from her mother. The mother I killed for giving birth to a bearer. What the fuck, bro? Their ghosts have all come back to haunt me. My daughters, my wives, all of them, all of those children. So many have died at my hand. I can bear the guilt no longer. And so I have decided tomorrow I too must die. It will be the last order I give those poor wretches. The last torment I subject them to, I will command them to tear me limb from limb oh, and enter my accursed corpse beneath the white tree whose crooked hands. What the motherfucking shit? This reads like a suicide note. Oh, uh, yeah. Did to go through with his plan? You think? Clive. There's only one way to find out. Uh, where is this tree, bro? Jesus. Jesus Christ. I don't think it's this way. Yeah, no, we're still in the blue. What the hell? God damn. Up the hill. Oh, there's graves. You know, that's probably where it is. I can read? Not really. <laughs> Look what this. Oh, I'm not focused tree. on them at all. This must be the place. <laughs> I had focus on too many, and then I was like, I'm gonna unfocus all of them. Could he really be buried here? There's something hidden among the roots. Let's see. Making my life. I like to make my life more difficult for myself, you know? It's fun. <laughs> oh, no, you're fine. I understood. Don't worry. This must be the registry. Oh, shit. 
Okay, so uh, lithification is when they get stoned, right? Or turned into stone. So to come to conditioning, so fighting, lithification, just, just discipline for. Dun, 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 dun. Damn. So many names. This place was a slaughterhouse. Goddamn. And where is the architect of all this misery? Oh, there he is. Call of Duty zombie style. There he is. Oh man. It's only a matter of time, I suppose. The big fucking chungus too. This place is cursed. You know what? Kill me, how you doing? Whew. Fun. I like the chunguses. The big chunguses are the best to fight. Oh, okay, so anyway. Bitch. So we were saying I'm not focusing on stuff. Return. I don't need to focus on that. Return. Nope. 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 Uh dang, only have <gasps> Wait, do we only have like one left I'm to do here. and the rest are just turning in? Let's get the registry back to Herman. I don't want it. I don't want it to be done. I'm gonna cry so fucking much, bro. We already saw how I cried with fucking Clive and Jill. How many times I've cried playing this fucking game, bro. I'm gonna sob. I'm about to take off my glasses and ugly cry. I fucked up, dude. Like, I had played God of War Ragnarok when it came out did all that shit and i was very new to uploading on youtube so basically long story short i went through a bit of a depression and i didn't upload all of them long story short is i still have to upload the ending of god of War ragnarok and let me fucking tell you bitch i cried so hard i couldn't breathe like i was like literally like suffocating <laughs> like it was literally just like <laughs> i'm just a big old baby bro you didn't play it oh i love those games very, very, very fun. I'm quite literally was suffocating. I was like, <gasps> that's just how I am. But the one game that has made me cry harder than I've ever cried in my fucking life was the Walking Dead game. That shit with like Clementine and the, what's his face? Oh my fucking God. Like I wasn't even a streamer yet. I was just in my bed living my best life and I finished the episode and then like literally cried so hard. I like got a headache. It's horrible. 1010 would play again though. That shit fuck me up. <laughs> the, okay, so I'm so sorry that I keep referencing Elden Ring, but this literally reminds me of a thing. This little Coliseum looking thing. Oh my god, same. The, did you watch the newest episode, City? I watched the uh, the newest episode and I was crying. Dude. Is waiting for me near Dark. <laughs> when he was like saying, the longer she's out in the open, the more likely she is to be found by a Kashik. 
need to hurry. God, I'd be sobbing all over the place, bro. I think what gets me the most is like when a loved one dies or like a happy moment where somebody's being loved. That always makes me cry, dude. Like, bro, I'm just a baby. Let me alone, bro. I would rather have hella emotions than no emotions at all. <laughs> I don't know. I like I like being a crybaby. <gasps> Hi sirs, how you doing? Where's all the enemies at? Wait, was uh was Diablo fucked up? Or was Diablo broken or whatever? I'm dirty. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Hope you've been well, sirs. Like Loki, sometimes I miss Destiny. Then I'm like, you know what? I just missed the bonding I did with Destiny, you know? Yeah. Battle.net was fucked up? Dang. Oh, it's the slave lady person. Guards, okay. None manning the gates, no. It's a different story inside, though. The corridors are crawling with the Kashik. Most likely guards left behind when the wardens ran. If Chadwick was being held here, I worry that he may already be. Don't give up hope just yet. Let me check the ground floor. The ether stick is there. Then I'll search the upper level. I'm really excited to play Remnant, though. That is going to be hella fun. Hopefully, hopefully you're just ready, Jenna. The floods inside the walls. I'm so afraid this is going to like. Enough to turn a bearer. I hope <gasps> not. We're risking a lot just Wait. being here. Could I have done this keep my eyes the open whole for signs time, of life. Bro. Aw, Katana Kin, your name is so fucking cute. I didn't this I've had this for years. Oh! For years. I knew that was gonna happen. I've had this thing for years and I never knew that you could like make it go straight like that. This the, the thing that I don't like about it is I need to get a new like twisty twisty. Cause it doesn't like stay on. This happens all the fucking time. But I was considering replacing it because I was like, you know, it'd be nicer if I can make it straight. Stupid ass, you could have done it the whole fucking time. But yeah, there's like a bolt on the inside, and then like it doesn't ever actually tighten up all the fucking way. Hold on, start singing. I'm gonna sing from the chandelier. Hold on, this, what the fuck? Hold on, this is annoying. <laughs> uh, do you? Uh, not like giving blood work or giving blood or whatever understandably so but i don't know man I, I had to give a lot of blood recently because um oh my god we're gonna resegue it i had to give a shit little blood recently because my body's fucked up and they're trying to find out why uh a lot of the people the phlebotomists i had were super pro like they did like the butterfly technique or some bullshit and like it was super easy and super nice so hopefully your blood work goes well and hopefully you're fine also, not trying to backseat your life, anyone lurking, but if you ever feel like shit often, um, if you can get blood work done, check your uh, blood sugar levels, anything you could think of that they will fucking let you get, because you never know, your shit could be fucked up and you could be suffering. So yeah, you could have like low iron, your blood sugar could be too high or too low, et cetera, et cetera yada yada but for the women who are chilling and listening or whatever the fuck uh my hormones were fucked up so that's fun <laughs> but now i feel mostly better i just take a lot of different vitamins every day i only have one tattoo i want a half sleeve Not on my left tight. arm but when i got my one tattoo fucking I guess with my with pain, I just started sweating. Like it didn't even hurt, but my body's reaction to it was just sweat profusely, and it was so fucking funny. It's like, oh shit! <laughs> like unnecessary as hell. Oh. Like I was literally embarrassed. Like I think the next time I get a tattoo, I'm gonna bring a towel with me because I sweated so much. I was like, what is happening to me? Uh, 
of the kingdom of Alun hereby designates this facility a prison for the detainment of bearers between foreign and domestic. The purpose of the facility is to rear a train of Kusa. Oh, what the fuck? Captain bearers have been provided solely for the pur what? Pursual and informant purposes. Express permission required to for use of bearers in any capacity. So this place was no ordinary prison. Oh God. And I doubt they'll have taken the creature with them when they fled. Girl, I don't know if it's like, sorry, I was saying like, check your blood levels, y'all, it's nuts. That's what I get for getting off of birth control. They wanted me to go back on it, but I was like, no. It made me feel pee pee poo poo all the time for 12 years, so. Let's see. Ah, oh, it says, uh, the Kusa has long been recognized as an especially aggressive species. This being the case, it is hope, it was hoped that successful deployment on the battlefield might be means of inflicting heavy casualties on the enemy. An exercise is conducted thus far, however, the beast has proven <gasps> incapable of distinguishing between allied and enemy combatants. And as such, deployment alongside regular troops is not recommended. <gasps> Does that mean they were using them to... It is proposed instead that bear captives be employed in order to draw enemy focus and the beast then driven into the fray in order to achieve maximum benefit. Oh, <gasps> with minimal loss of the looter lives, bro. So they sent out the Kuza to kill fucking minimal everyone. Minimal loss of looter lives. And what happens when they run out of bearers? That's so fucked Even up. Even the Imperials take better care of their branded than that. Damn. Dude, girl, I was on it for 12 years, and then I finally I was like, I don't, my brain doesn't feel right. So then I got off of it, and this whole debacle started. <laughs> it's terrible. But after two years being off of it, I think I'm finally feeling like better. Lock on wood. Okay, it says recent supply storages left us with insufficient resources to feed the Kuza entrusted to our care. Fortunately, the creature was observed to kill and consume the bearers assigned to fight beside it in a mock battle conducted as part of its training. The beast was further observed to enter a state of visible contentment <gasps> upon feeding this way, suggesting that live bearers may be its preferred source of sustenance. While this, oh, while this behavior is unexpected, is not unwelcome, bearers no longer of use for training purposes can now be repurposed. Oh! <gasps> They were feeding bearers to it. This is even worse than I'd feared. That's so Nothing fucked. but a cashic down here. Hopefully things are looking better upstairs. Dang, bro. I can't see how Doris is getting on. That's so sad. Honestly, city, so fucking do that shit. If you can get a partner that can do that for you, shit. Ten ten. Fuck damn kids. <laughs> oh fuck. Time to fight. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Okay. Damn, we're in like a little mid fortress, bro. Shit, give me that shit. Yeah, you can reverse it if you do change your mind and want kiddos. This guy just stood here the whole time while we destroyed his friend. That is fucking. Damn, dude. Okay. Oh, hi, bud. Thank you for using your friend gaming some of my dumbass. 59 months? Hello? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
long sub streaks people are like damn this person's been streaming for a long time oh damn they're that old just be like start telling them that i'm like 45 and see if they believe it or something and then one day someone's gonna be like yo i see it and then i'm gonna be crushed but it's okay <laughs> damn just was 45 yeah i started streaming when i was 24 yeah 24. well you see for me story time let's put torgle um I had a friend in high school at the time when it was dressed in TV. Shout out fucking Steven, but he told me, he was like, oh my God, you'd be so good on Twitch. Like you should start streaming. But I didn't have the means at the time. So fast forward until like, yeah, when I was like, but I, I think I had just turned 24, 23 turning 24. Yeah, I credit carded a fucking PC and I started streaming. So and now I've been streaming ever since. Can't get rid of me, you guys are stuck with me. But I did find out that this place was more than just a prison. Something far more sinister was happening here. I know. I've been reading some of these documents and... It can't be true, can it? Bearers die every day in service of their masters, but this... This is so much worse. Yeah, it's torture. And not just those who could fight, but... The elderly, children, and those who wouldn't or couldn't were disposed of i'm afraid it means they were fed to the monstrosity they kept here then we're too late and i was a fool to bring you here don't say that a key but it yeah i too it's been almost 10 years for me Perhaps as well it will fit one of the doors downstairs <laughs> there's a corridor i haven't searched yet it's okay finish up here then come and find me when you're I feel ready like the age range right of our community is around. I feel like a lot of people are 25 plus through like 40, I think, is our age group here. But I mean, the demographic of gamers is that age, you know? So, yeah, you know, a lot of people be like, oh, gaming's for children. But like, I'm pretty sure that the demographic of gamers is like 30 or some shit. 40 and fit, let's go, land shark. He's the elder bro. Hell fucking yeah. Your guild is all dads. I couldn't imagine being a parent and I'm 30 years old. I'll bring the, I'll bring the average age up. <laughs> Why did I read that like an old Southern grandpa, bro? Yeah, like 45. I think the here. oldest I've ever had in my chat was like 60, 61 or something. <sighs> Back in the day, your baby. Listen, if 30 is a new 20, I'm gonna fucking take it. I'm gonna be real with you. I mean, I had to fight this beast, bro. Bro, I'm excited. Where is it? No, no beast. Really? Fuck. What the fuck are coming out here for yet? Oh, fuckers, I tell you. I'm just trying to fight big beasties. Oh, what's this? Give me the stuff, beach. Oh. <laughs> survivor a child and she sounds close oh shit who are you there's no need to be afraid are you alone what the fuck are there any other survivors some of the guards they're still here but something's wrong with mm, them akashic yes everyone else was eaten by the monster <sighs> fight her no child thanks the founder It was worth our coming, but I'd rather we didn't linger. Be ready. Ready when you are. You poor thing. He must have been terrified. Did Jadwick send you? What? He fought the monster. <gasps> Distracted it so I could run away. He must have sent you. Where is he? He opened your cell, didn't he? Chadwick. A lover. I'm about to fuck this monster up, or is it Who's gonna that? fuck me up? Who knows? Find out. <laughs> what? We have to get out of here. Doris. All right. Oh shit. It's out there waiting for me. I don't know. I feel really I good mentally now that I'm 30. I mean, what as I approach 30. So I don't know. I feel I feel pretty good. 
that's for sure look at this cute chungus oh I did not do well in that fight, but that's okay. We can't be good in all of them, bro. This shit. I'm gonna sound like the chungus, but I have been thinking about chicken for the past 30 minutes. <laughs> Whenever we talked about dinner, bro, I was like, damn, chicken. <laughs> Hi, Bess. How you doing? Finally. Yeah. <laughs> Sid, are you hurt? Nar. I'm fine. I think. Oh no, is she gonna see her lover dead, bro? Oh, oh no. What is it? A diary. I gave it to Chadwick before we went our separate ways. He was here. Do you think that creature? I'm sure he fought bravely to the last. The girl is safe thanks to him. Chadwick. You fool. Come on. We have to get her back to the hideaway. We don't want his sacrifice to have been in vain. No. Of course not. That sucks. Damn. I'll see that she's looked after from now on. It's the least I can do. Sam, I thought he was going to be alive a little bit. At least be like, hey, babe, love you so much. But no. From what I hear, you've barely left the girl's side in days. I hope she's recovering from her ordeal. She is. Slowly, but surely. She's far tougher than she looks. I thank the flames we found her. I know. We did. I'm sorry we weren't able to save Chadwick. There's no need to apologize. Without your help, I would never have found out what happened to him. How he fought to the bitter end to save her. That's the man I remember. The man I thought oh, of as a brother. A brother, not a I lover. I could have okay. met him. My bad. I'd like to hear more about your past. Of course. 
shit. You already met my former master. She trained Chadwick and I to do two things. Kill and obey. We were supposed to be sold to the highest bidder when the time came. But no bid was ever high enough to convince her to part with us. For years, we were her daggers in the shadows. But we could never quite shake our doubts about the things she made us do. Sir friends. <laughs> and then, one day, we just couldn't do them anymore. So we escaped. But staying together was out of the question. They would have found us too easily. After so many years of training, the pull to serve was always strong. It scared me to think he might have taken another master, become a dagger in someone else's hand. But even in captivity, the battles he fought were his own, and he died not as someone's tool, but as a hero. Heide Marie is proof of that. Bearers can cast off their shackles, and the curse breakers will show them how. I'll fight until my dying breath to see it done. Thank you, Doris. Damn, so am I done? Done now? All I have to do is turn in shit. <laughs> Sorry, I'm dramatic. But yeah, I think all of them are just turning in, and then tomorrow will beat the game, and then I'll cry, and then we'll start remnant, and then did you literally? I read that as desert or dessert. <laughs> I think I did. I'll have to check. We're gonna check right now. <laughs> I was like, mm. oh, there's more. Oh, wait, no, wait. There might be one more because remember, I couldn't find this person. It might. Let me see. Let's just start turning them in and see. Halfway over here. Uh, I did. A, what is it? The Damamil Inn? I helped them and then they made what's his face mayor after and then. I love Mid. She's Mid. so cute. Tell me this is all you need. Great gosh, gosh. You make it sound like asked you to save the world or something. Tell me oh, this is all so freaking cute. you need. It's most of what I need. After you left, I went over the figures again, and I realized I'd forgotten a one. Oh my gosh. And a cog wheel. Just a tiny one gears that smaller a bastard to make wait the children when they took apart your scales there was a tiny brass gear now that i think about it i they didn't use it oh this is my emotional support together. cat the young uns but why would the i'll keep working on the model are you have another quest for me and there's no one in here that's not how this works okay okay i actually sleep with a stuffed animal <laughs> I'm 30 and I sleep with stuffed animals. Has Mr. Doll mentioned a new project yet? Sid! Is Mid still hiding from us? She wasn't hiding. She's just busy working on her next project. A new invention? Is it an airship? Do you think she'll let us help? That just so happens to be why I'm here. A brass gear. Oh! The we saved it! Just Good job, kids. Good job. Since your lesson, we've been disassembling, then reassembling everything. All the pieces that are left over, we keep under our beds. That's good to know. Look, I found right, it. Right, we put it under our beds. Okay, damn. Fucking kids, man. Is that all? That's all for now. Thanks, Sid. No problem, kiddos. Wait, so then I go back to mid. Dude, I can't believe we're almost done with this game. I'm gonna cry. We're saving the finale for tomorrow though, so. Well. I'll, be, I'll prepare my um And they kept it somewhere nice and safe. My heart. I think you did. Will it work? I have the gel one. Will it work? He's perfect! What exactly are you going to use it for? Only the most important job of all. The wings aren't going to move on their own. Well. Thanks, Mid. Love you. You're the best. Oh, yeah. I did the Torgo one yesterday. Uh, shameless plug. It's on my YouTube, though. <laughs> that should do it. <laughs> it's my recent upload on YouTube. My mouth just farted. That was weird. It was like, shmurp. Maybe I gotta drink more water. Here goes nothing. Not me crying the whole fucking game. But you're a boy, so. It's fine. Titan's tits. 
giant's tits, bro. It wasn't supposed to fly, was it? Of course it was supposed to fly. Wouldn't be much of an airship if it didn't. Crying is good. Honestly, these bloody engines are driving me mad. I was so sure this would be the day she saw. The Mithril engine was made to make dreams come true. But maybe this is one dream the world's better off without. Show folk how to take flying. It won't be long till they're raining death down on each other. People will lose their homes. Children, their mums and their dads. Like I lost mine. Mm. I'm sorry. So am I, Clive. So am I. Sorry that I have to choose. Do I follow my head? Or do I follow my heart? Good question. The first time I stood on the deck of your ship, felt the wind in my hair. It was like I was flying, but imagine how it would feel to actually do it. My dad always said there were two ways of living life. Chasing a dream or shuffling to your grave. And he were right. Right about a lot of things. Not that I like to admit it. People need dreams to chase. Especially in a world like this. Re fucking tweet, bro. Right. When this is over, I'm gonna take all my mithril engines to Zemeckis and sling them over the edge. I won't have my dream end up turning into someone else's nightmare. But all that hard work. All that hard work will not be used for war, Jamie. But it ain't like it'll be gone. Gosh, you're so cute. Tell me, Clive. Have you ever <sighs> been on a treasure hunt? Not since Joshua and I were boys. Why do you ask? Because I'm going to bury the engine schematics and leave behind a little riddle telling people where to find them. Hmm. That's a cute. A really hard one. So that only the most dedicated dreamers will ever be able to work it out. I can picture it now. Some daft general squinting at the words with a gormless expression on his mug. Like that one. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right? Like every character is like lovable and has their own little story. How hot is it where you're at, Bob? You don't have the air on? The air is hitting me right now. Bless up. Blessings. Of course, if I'm putting this engine at the end of a treasure hunt, I'll still need to make it a treasure worth hunting for. Won't be much of a prize if it couldn't even make a toy boat fly after all. <sighs> My dad always said, dream big. But it in the size of a dream that's important, is it, Clive? And I reckon I've got a fair few good ones left in me. I'm sure you do. So cute. 94 bitches, 105 here. Wait, do you have a temperature gauge in your room? I'm sure your room's probably like 80 or some, some, some. <gasps> Shio, thank you so much for the five month resub. I appreciate you so much. Thank, thank you, thank you. You can't turn the air off because then it's only gonna get hotter and hotter, bro. My room is for sure a hundred and fucking eight. Just stop. Enough. Has Midadol mentioned a new project yet? A dehumidifier? But you used to only roll with the dehumidifier? Oh, Jessica, wrong way. Oh, shit. Dude, Jungle King, I'm almost done. But we're not going to beat the game till tomorrow. So, tomorrow I'll beat the game. AC on blast 24 7. Fuck yeah, dude. Is he going to let me turn in his quest? I oh, hear there you that go. you traveled to Ash. 
Sid, did you by any chance recover the names of my fallen friends? <gasps> oh, he was I the did. orphanage one. Oh, okay. Tomorrow I will be sobbing. It's okay. I may the bearer registry. Oh man. The director was a brutal man. He got no worse than he deserved. The registry was all I found beneath the tree. There was no sign of a body. Nor any record of what happened to the children after the orphanage closed. Uh, yeah. I pray that at least some of them survived. All their names are here. The ones we lost, my friends. My light in those dark times. I can still remember their faces. Children who were taken from their bunks in the morning. Never to return. No explanation ever offered. They'd be happy to know that you survived, Herman. But why did I make it out alive? When so many others died in that awful place. It's not your fault. It's got survivor Containing skills. Yourself won't bring them back. See that their names live on. Yeah. That way, at least. They're never truly gone. Nah, not normally. Thank you. I'm going to write a book. An account of the horrors of Badbach. And the spirit of those its custodians sought to crush. All of of Valisthea will know of our suffering. And the name I'm sorry. of those I lost, neither will I. Is a wreck. <laughs> when he said bad bitch. First off, I read like bad bitch, you know, like bad bit, but like he said bad bitch. Oh fuck, I'm immature as hell. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's not normally humid. We had a really good winter though, so it rained a shitload, but Normally our summers are super, super, super dry. And if you have solar, some apartments even have solar, then you really won't have to worry about electrical, you know what I'm saying? But the way he said bap, I'm telling you, it's the headset. It's like, it's so crystal clear and makes everything sound even funnier. God, I'm such a baby, bro. So no one asked me, but when I did not have solar, I was paying upwards. I think the, the highest bill we had was 600, but I do have a two story. So maybe that's why. So now for the whole year we pay. Cause you still, even though like you have to, um, you even, seen him. even though you have solar panels, you're still paying the electrical company for like fees and stuff yeah 600 a month it was like 590. that's it yeah if you can afford it i think it's hella worth it yeah <laughs> so when you walk outside it's like you're opening an oven it's not like super yeah, moist it's just you. like hot as fuck welcome back sid <laughs> oh, welcome back sid yes 70 percent humidity Truth be told, fuck it was that. Me who suggested roping you in to help with the trial but from what i hear Things didn't go quite as planned. No, they most certainly did not. Amber lost his nerve in the face of a beast of prey, but he didn't lose heart. Indeed it is. The fact remains, however, that Ember will not always have a battle-hardened warrior on hand to pluck him from the jaws of peril. All I have gleaned from this trial is that without someone watching his back, Ember is little more than a liability. Wait, Sergeant. Ember still has much to learn, it's and this time he was found wanting. But I'd say he's due a second chance. After all, he did do as you asked. With a bit of hard work, any hand can be made to hold a blade. And any mind can conquer its fears. But a scout's nose is different. And by sniffing out that log, young Ember here has shown he has a conquering heart. Wouldn't do to waste it now. Fine. I'll do whatever you ask. I'll spend my days and nights in the pit if I have to. I'll show you. Just you wait. Yeah, when it's 109, it's just like, it's like opening Delft an oven, for sure. There, You'll sweat in places just you didn't think were possible, honestly. <laughs> and if you ask me, uh... we've been leaning on him for far too long. That time the curse breakers took some of the weight off his shoulders, I reckon. Couldn't hurt. Just don't tell Gav I said so, will ya? <sighs> <laughs> like, when I was sitting in my car, probably, the car was said. probably hotter. <laughs> But that's um, why we need men like Ember more than ever. Like sweating on my upper lip. <laughs> men who can make the best out of a bad situation. Remember that. 
I will sit. Thank you. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, it's a lot. I think the hottest it's ever gone here, which is not normal, was uh, 115. That's a fucking, it was a fucking trip. <laughs> if I'm being for real with you. But when it's that hot, you don't really go outside. I mean, like, the most you will go outside, unless that's your job, is like to and from your car, you know? So. Vivian, I found it. The book you lost. You. You found it. Thank you, Clive. Even though I asked this of you, I was not entirely sure it would be possible. I feared the executors had seized every copy. <laughs> City. I met with one of these executors, and I convinced him to let me keep it. He told me something, that the truth is just a matter of collective belief, and that if enough people believe a lie, that lie becomes the truth. It does. It does. But it also For means real. that the truth is not immutable, provided that those who wish to change it can convince enough people that their perspective is the correct one. As the sad I history think she just of has the proves. You said that the book inspired you to become a scholar. It did. Or its author, rather. She was a heretic, you see. A firebrand and a dissenter. A gallows stood ready for her in every corner of... And by shunning society, or perhaps being shunned by it, she stumbled upon a truth so potent that an entire realm trembled at... I, too, have always felt somehow set apart from the world of men. She taught me that my solitude was not a curse, but a gift. And that, though my journey to the truth might be a lonely one, what I found at my destination would be more than worth the cost. Do you still feel that way? That you're not... one of us? Honestly? I'm not entirely sure anymore. Since coming to the hideaway, I find my thinking somewhat... clouded. Perhaps the result of studying so mankind from a rather... closer perspective than I had intended. But the more I study, the more I find value in this perspective. In looking not from the outside, but from within. So if you'll permit me, I'd like to continue my work here. Remember, Clive, when enough people believe, belief begets truth. Give the men and women of this benighted world the gift of truth. Make them believe in you. As I do. I'll try, Vivian. Aw. I'm getting sad because I know that tomorrow is the last day I'll play this on stream. <laughs> okay, I used to be in... Okay, we're gonna segue into fucking Olive Garden discussion. I used to be an Olive Garden fucking hater. And then I recently had it. Granted, I guess because it was a new establishment. I don't know. It was so fucking good. So I have changed my ways. But you know, though, I don't think it's authentic. I'm not going to say it's authentic Italian food. Mid garden. I'm not like Carly. She'll she'll be like, it's, it's authentic to fuck with you, but she's just fucking with you, bro. It's all right. It's not my first choice, but I'll eat there. Uncle, uh -huh. <laughs> I bring good news. The, fuck? the field marshal has agreed to your plan. Ha! Of course he has. I didn't doubt you for a moment, dear boy. Rutherford is accompanying him back to your manor in Port Azolder as we speak. They will await your return there. As will one other. One other? Lord Havel was concerned that even if he could get the realm's armies to agree to an accord, he might not be as successful in convincing those with political power. He asked if Flex I might have a solution. Oh. And I suggested a certain Imperial Lord Magistrate. One of your co-conspirators? Master Quinton would probably call me one of his. But yes. Another outlaw, then. Just the thing we need to put these rotten politicos in their places. Good thinking, Clive. I'm glad you approve. The more the merrier. Uncle, assuming Havel and Quinton can solve our problem with the armies, you still haven't mentioned how we might manage the grain shortages. Oh, don't you worry, my boy. The seven high houses will be seeing to that. They have all agreed to make the most generous of donations. Oh, of course, it did take a little persuasion, but luckily I had some unexpected help. From who? Why, you, my boy. 
Rumor has it that you rescued the Lady Ariane's head steward, Rockford, from a horde of bloodthirsty oh. bandits. It was more of a handful. Well, the old battleaxe was so pleased, she had a shipload of talents delivered to my private docks by the next new move. And when the other houses saw the parsimonious old crone's purse strings finally loosen, they as good as tripped over themselves in the rush to follow suit. <laughs> now, uh, join us there, Ch Of course. Yes, yes, yes. Listen. I don't think it's authentic Italian, but it's still fucking good. I don't know. When I went with Taylor, she got some motherfucking... She got breadsticks with Alfredo sauce to dip it in. Life-changing. And how, pray Life -changing. tell, will we get that grain to the capital if the roads are still overrun with a cash egg? you find another bloody road. I only have so many men, and I'm not about to send them headlong into an ether flood. That is, unless you'd have them turn as well. Well, I'd certainly eat less. <laughs> Says the man with a belly bigger than a band of curls. My soldiers actually need their rations. Without any food to keep them going, they'll be dead even before you've sent them on your fool's errand. <clears throat> if I may, gentlemen, perhaps I might suggest an alternative approach. Though supply routes are indeed disrupted, there is no shortage of ships. Indeed, they bob away in every bay from here to Randalar, awaiting a safe haven. Allow them to make port and fill their bellies full of grain. And once those who crowd the cities are fed, ferry the displaced back to the countryside to work the fallow fields. Ah, but I'm <laughs> sure that you wish to continue your discussion. Forgive the interruption. Two such firm friends as yourselves need no help from the likes of me. Rutherford spoke fondly of the great bond between you. Us? Friends? I can't stand the man! <laughs> Clive, I'm beginning to question the quality of the company you keep. And what kind of company are you expecting him to keep? The man's a criminal! <laughs> criminal? How... How dare you! You are not fit to breathe the same air as this... Fine! Upstanding young gentleman! Upstanding? He calls himself Sid the Bloody Outlaw! Once more onto the breach. They're cute. I like them. That place in San Diego was good. Got Italian food there in okay. Little Italy. Shall we begin again? What we seek here is not to create a new nation, nor to claim the thrones of those that already exist. We wish simply to bring stability to the realm that mankind might weather the current storm. And to do that, we must convince those in power, the generals, the statesmen, the nobles, that our cause is just. There will be disagreements, yes. And I imagine some resistance, much resistance. But we cannot let that deter us. If we show them the path, show them that we walk it ourselves, then I am confident they will follow. The fate of the world lies in my nephew's hands, but the well-being of her people lies in ours. Uncle Byron. Now, with that settled, for what great moment in history hasn't been accompanied by a little ceremony? <laughs> God, he looks so s high, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, but that's the same with every ethnic food, though. Like, Mexican, Chinese, Filipino. Well, my boy. Nothing ever beats local mom and pop set. shops, for sure. That it is. This is the role you were born for. Now I ask only that you trust in the talents of your supporting cast. We shall play our parts to the best of our abilities. That you might have the opportunity to shine. Stop, Uncle. Don't be the sweet to me. I'll needs, cry. It's a crandle. And there is no better Crandall than you, Clive. I uh, want you to keep this signed accord as proof of our faith in you. I will. Thank you, Uncle. Aw, validation. Love my uncle, bro. Rick, why haven't you eaten? I say as I have any eaten since like nine o'clock. <laughs> Did I have a snack? I don't even know. Hi, Shadow. How you doing? I don't know. Have you been fed, Ren? Why are you screaming at me? Oh my gosh. What do you think that thing? <gasps> oh yeah, that happened to me too. A lot of the local mom and pop shops couldn't make it for COVID, unfortunately. It's the worst. One of my favorite uh, Mexican food places 
did okay. They're up and running again and doing well. Oh my god, is this another quest to do? City, you don't even have a good boba place near you? Oh no. Ugh, you all right? Something troubling you? Uh, no more than usual. It's just... Yeah, this baby will be coming soon and I wanted to make something for it. I'm sure she'd like that. Back in the north, families would always make gifts when a bairn was on the way. Yeah, I'll let the little tykes know they were welcome in their new homes like. So? What's the problem? Well, the problem is that Ed is due any day now. Oh, is, is this the last of the side quest? All right then. Uh, good... Not just then. No. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, I'm just gonna skip it. I'm sorry. The best chicken wings, and now. <gasps> oh. Oh my God! Is there another fucking quest? Ren, stop! Don't scratch me. That's rude. What the hell? You know what I learned? The both and and you made me cry. Oh, that made me cry too, Frozen. I learned that I don't know if this is true if I'm like mistaking what I learned, but they were saying that the Koreans learned from uh black soldiers to fried chicken. But then that's why Korean fried chicken is super good because they took that recipe and then they like made it their own. So I think what it is, is that it's like double fried chicken is what they did with it. I don't know. I think I saw it on TikTok. So who knows if that's fucking true or whatever. They were influenced. The black soldiers taught them how to do the fried chicken. Making demands of Stop it. I wonder what this is about. So we got two more quests to do. But yeah, so it's like it's basic. I think the method is that it's double fried or something like that. Korean fried chicken's fucking good, though. If you've never had it, you should definitely get some. It also, also like is karage. I think it's like Japanese places have those, which is fried chicken in a way. Appropriating food. I cannot with you guys. Unbelievable. Lawsman Harpocrates. I received your note. Ah, yes. I expect you're wondering what this is all about. You spoke of making amends with Dion. Aw. But I can't imagine what for. Then I should begin by telling you that I was once <gasps> his tutor. This was some years ago, of course. What? Before I joined Sid in his hideaway. At that time, I was counted among the foremost scholars of Oriflam, and was accordingly invited to the palace to supervise the young prince's education. All to ensure that the future emperor had a firm grounding in, well, everything an emperor should. Alas, our time together was cut short. When Dion left mm -hmm. to join the Dragoons, his studies no longer being deemed necessary. I had not expected to meet with him again, least of all here. Have you spoken with him? No, I... <laughs> I have yet to find the right moment. His Highness always seems so preoccupied. Not when I know he dwells upon the evil Ultima had him commit in the Dominion. The guilt weighs heavily on him, I know. But as you say, that was Ultima's doing. Surely you can't blame yourself. When I first met him, it was not guilt, but his people's expectations that weighed heavily upon him. And I did nothing to ease that burden. That's sad. He bore it alone until the day he could not bear it any longer. It is one of my greatest regrets that I only ever offered him my wisdom and what he truly needed was friendship. The blame for Dion's transgressions lies not only on his shoulders, but on mine. I see. I'm ready to help you in any way that I can. Then I beg that you bring me a wild wyvern tale. Apothecaries across the ages agree that even to glimpse such a flower is mm. to be granted inner solace. Fabulous. And well, it can't. Where can I find this flower? You have seen? Well, there it is. I'm skipping it, but is that the flower that his dad gives him? Stop, bitch. I love Dion so much. Is that the same? <laughs> uh... Oh. Let's hope one of the merchants here has what Gav needs. I cry. Excuse me. I'm looking for something. Oh, well, then I'm your man. A silver chocobo feather. Oh, or maybe not. But <laughs> there was a man stopped by the rest not long ago claiming he was attacked by a silver chocobo near some guide hovel not far from Eastpool. Most 
mistook him for a braggart and a liar, but who knows? We'll see. Thank you. I was gonna say, is Ambrosia not a silver chocobo? Can't I just like pluck the fucking feathers off of her? What the fuck? Are we high? <laughs> Wait, what did he say? Something about got a few talking. rooms going spare now. You want a bed for the night? You have one, sir. Oh, wait, they're inside. Friends, stop. Stop. She scratches me when she watches. Go eat your fucking food. What the hell? Is there people in here too? Or just everywhere? Search for merchant. No, 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 no. Let's be the merchants in Martha's res, bro. Where are the merchants? This one. He's hiding in the corner. Talk to me. No? Oh, you're not a merchant? Are you guys not merchants? Oh my gosh. I can't think straight. Ren's fucking licking my toes. <laughs> she always does that shit. She's coming back. I don't want her to lick my toes. What are you after? You don't have what I have. What I need, bro? Oh shit. Thanks very much. There you go. Much obliged. There you go. Thanks very much. Much obliged. It's hot in here. There you go. It's probably like fucking 80 in here, so I'm just gonna Just because the heavens have gone to wreck and ruin, you can't hear me. Oh, okay. How do, traveler? You've the look of a man who could do with a new whetstone. Uh, maybe another time. Oh I'm my god. I'm looking gosh. for a silver chocobo feather. Oh, if that's the case, rumors are all you're likely to find. No one has seen a silver chocobo for years. Word is, they were all hunted for their feathers. If any are still out there, I you're probably right. I have one. Can I just pluck the fucking feathers off of her? <laughs> what the fuck? I've got greens of all shapes. What? What kind of shit, bro? It doesn't still hurt, does it? Feathers grow back. Don't make that face. And bro just got the feathers. Can I help you with summer? You wouldn't happen to sell silver chocobo feathers, would you? <laughs> but if it's fancies you're after. Was a silver chocobo? Oh, yes. It wouldn't be the first time. A silver chocobo sighted in the hills near Rien and Tried. Let me, let me, let me get that silver chocobo for you guys. Don't worry. But since I'm already here. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. A silver chocobo. Ready, go. Actually, Jessica Ambrosia is gray or white. She's actually not silver. Actually. Nope. Dude, I'm pulling the pelly and not eating for hours, bro. I feel fine. It's weird. I'm transcended. Wait, what do you mean? <gasps> oh my god, the other chocobo scared me. That's fucking funny. Tracks. Oh, it is over there. What the hell? Why are we only eating once a day? Why is that the thing? More tracks. Hmm. The chocobo was here. And recently. Perhaps it still is. That is so funny to me, Frozen. It can attack and it can drift if you like take the corners, right? I don't hear anything. <laughs> Wark. That's the noise that chocobos make. Wark. <laughs> oh. They literally, they quite literally are just ambrosia. Aww. It's all right. I'm not going to hurt you. Just borrowing a feather for my friend. Thank you. 
Let's get this back together before they change their mind. Well, I mean, that side quest was her quest. Right? The side quest of finding her was a quest, but I think you mean like a closure one. Oh, true, true. I get you, I get you. Like everyone's having these like send off quests and you're like, why doesn't she get one? Hmm? Yeah, 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 I see that. Corgos was so fucking cute. I'm surprised I didn't cry harder. I think it was because chat was calling me a fucking Freddy Krueger pumpkin, so I was offended. I couldn't focus on the the nature of the, the sadness of the quest. And then um, I was called a pumpkin, so it just kind of threw it off, you know? Let's go. Ooh, pretty. Mine too, Yosemite, a little bit. Ooh. They're haters, bro. I have it in green as well. Because of my sweater, bro. They were hating. It's okay. Is chat not close to you? If they don't fucking roast you? <laughs> yeah, Torgo's got me fucked up. Um, I'm gonna download this VOD tonight and hopefully tomorrow afternoon I can have the video uploaded. But I did Clive and Jill's quest and I definitely cried like a fucking baby. I like, sobbed, so. Thanks, y'all. I love my little sweater. It's so fucking cute. It's funny, growing up, I used to be like such a fucking tomboy, like never dressed cute. It was more like scene kid punk for a little bit. And then I don't know, out of nowhere, I just I was like, I'm going to be Seems hella girly. Flooded twice over. <laughs> so all be of safe. a sudden, I wear everything like back in high school. It was wild. Just woke up one day Local and I was like, I'm wearing everyone's style. I don't give a fuck. <gasps> too hard to find. Oh, I killed the oh! Remember? Over here. Uh. 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 I don't give a fuck if you hit me, bro. Uh. Uh. Flower, bitch, the hell? Oh, yeah, I want to try it for sure. Hi, Qualf. Oh, wait, sorry, Wolf. Qualf? <laughs> Might as well pick enough for a bunch, I suppose. Hello. Yeah, I wonder why, like, looking at Bahamut on the surface level, I was just like, you know what? I don't think I want to try him out. But I think when I play this again, I'll probably mess with everybody. Because I do miss Tyen, and I really like Garuda as well. So. I think it'll be a good time. We gotta skip. These are the final two quests, hopefully. Oh wow. Clive, you're back. How'd you get on? Any luck? Any luck, you say? Here you go, sir. Crystals crack. <laughs> is this what I think it is? Where in the hell did you find it? It's a long story. Right there on the road to Eastpool. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? Everything up there's been abandoned for years. The empty cabin made for the perfect shelter. Don't blame yourself, Clive. Mm -hmm. The blight's right on Eastpool's doorstep. They'd have had to move on before long. Even if you hadn't have turned up, they'll find a new home. Trust me, after all, that's what us endangered animals do. <laughs> anyway, 
What matters is, you managed to nick us one of their quills before they could run off. And now all that's left is to fix it to the carving. Hi, Dion. How you doing? I didn't know you could carve. Mm. Reckon there's a lot you don't know about me. Like the fact I'm as good with a whittling knife as I am with a sword. And that bone ember gave me's a dream to work with. But it weren't your ravis, Sid. I slew one of my own at So all those long nights in the pit finally bore fruit. <laughs> don't speak too soon. I ain't done my trial yet. There we go. Oh. Very what cute. What do you think? I think if you ever hang up your scouting cap, you'll be able to make an honest living. Now will I. <laughs> <laughs> I should go and see if Ed is awake. Give him my best. Huh. You can give it to yourself. Well, we're gonna do this first, because it's right there. Horseman, I found the flowers you were looking for. You did? I think I did. I know, that part made me cry. <laughs> it was funny. <sighs> you did indeed. My dear boy, thank you. You wanted to make Dion a gift of one, did you not? Oh, it's no trouble. <gasps> oh, I have to actually go get him? Bro, they're like, these are the final two quests. We can't just like have everything happen. You gotta go get him. Fuck. Your Highness. You look so sad. Would you do me the honor of accompanying me? No. It is time, then. <laughs> no. Only to the shelves. Our lawsman has something he'd like to give you. Master Harpocrates? No. I dare not show Aww. my face before him. Not after everything I have done. I have taken countless innocent lives. And ruined countless more. All because I was weak. I have sworn to atone for my crimes or die in the attempt. But were I to meet with him again and see in his eyes what I have become, I fear that my resolve might falter. And that is all the more reason to do it. Test your resolve. Prove to yourself and to him how strong it truly is. I must, at the very least, off very well then. Follow me. I was trying to get Ren, but she's just moving around too much. I'm trying to pick her up. Just being a little baby. <gasps> Hi, Orca. I need to fucking eat. I haven't eaten in so long. I thought we were done, but I can't stop. I gotta finish all side quests. Okay, I got my emotional support cat right here. Hope you feel better, Dion. Even now, I hesitate to approach him. What must he think of me? You'd be surprised. Oh god, am I gonna cry? I feel like if you don't do the side quest in this game, you miss out on so much. It's crazy. Master Harpocrates, pray, accept my apologies for leaving your tutelage before my studies were complete. Your lessons opened my mind to a world quite unlike the one I had imagined from within the gilded confines of the palace. And I shall be forever grateful for the efforts you made to enlighten me. Aww. Lift up your head, your highness. The deeds of youth require no apology. That you took the time to visit me says much about the man you have become. Now, there is something I would like to show you. It 
Is that a wyvern tail? The color is unfamiliar to me. Because it is unique to those found in the wild. Something in the harsh environment in which they grow lends them this striking hue. Their Some roots music. are indistinguishable from those of their hothouse cousins. But once they bloom, the difference is immediately apparent. In this flower, I see you, your highness. Its roots were the roots of a wyvern tail, with all that implies. God damn it. <laughs> but they do not define it. Just as yours do not define you. I want you to have it, that it might remind you of this truth. Try. Master Harpocrates, I would ask of you a service. Keep your gift until I have fulfilled my duty to the realm. For only then shall I be deserving of it. <laughs> As you wish, your highness. I shall await your return. He's not gonna come back. Mm. Our roots do not define us. No wonder my <laughs> stepmother didn't like him. I love Dion so much. For reuniting me with memories I had thought long lost. I shall not forget this. Stop! I love him, he's so beautiful. <gasps> Thank you, Clive. Zed. Uh. Were it not for you, I fear I might never have found the right moment to speak with him, not to mention the wives and tales. I shall plant their seeds that I might not disappoint his highness upon his return. I hope the soil in the hideaway is to their liking. Why? These flowers bloomed in the bleak black wastes of Walud. I'm sure Nigel's yard will suit them to a tea. What's this? A stolas quill, or more precisely, my stolas quill. It is said that an owl's feathers are steeped in the wishes it hears over its long lifetime. So consider this my wish for you, that one day you may put down your sword and pick up that pen. Well, when that day comes, thank you, Harpocrates. <laughs> Everything's fine. A gift from the very first emperor of Sim. Simga's grace has handed every dominant of Bahamut since the ether is absorbed from the icon over the years, aiding the next imperial scion and drawing out the full potential of their bloodline. But now the em. Aww. So let it be with Bahamut and stop. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna cry. Uh. Dude, tomorrow's gonna suck. I'm gonna be the game. I'm gonna be sobbing, bro. <gasps> Thanks for showing me that city because I would have dodged it. I would have been like, beep, boop, beep, beep, boop. You know how my brain is. <laughs> skip, skip, skip. <laughs> I can't wait to eat. I haven't eaten so long. I'm so hungry. But it's okay because now we have all the side quests done. Hopefully, cross our fingers. If another one pops up, we'll do it tomorrow. But tomorrow we beat the game and we cry together. And then, yeah, it's been so fun. I'm very grateful to have you guys here with me while I've been playing this game in its fucking entirety. You know, it feels good, man. Oh shit, she's pregnant as fuck. Ah, me lords. How are you feeling? Me lords. Well, 
I got chicken you. and potatoes. Is something wrong? Wrong? No, nothing like that. Uh, uh, what it is is. Uh, uh, Go on. I'm doing good, Wolf. It's beautiful. Did you make it? We did. I. Uh, it's from all of us here at the hideaway. Your new family, like. It's a good luck charm. We may come up north when a band's on the way. I, I, I mean, a, a baby. <laughs> to let them know that they're part of the family, too. Oh, I, I, ho I hope you like it. I... I don't know what to say. I thank you, my lords. For everything. If there's anything you need, just let us know. I will. Oh, fancy a swift off. I could be convinced. <laughs> Hi, Travi. I didn't do the hunt board stuff, unfortunately, but... I'll just do it when I do my second playthrough, I think. Don't you think you've had enough? No, we're <laughs> celebrating. I'm gonna be a father. <laughs> also, we see like might have something to say about taking that. her in or what? Ah, you know what I mean. So fun. Bit of light in these dark times. <sighs> it wasn't long after me tenth name day. My mum told us she was with child again. I was over the fucking moon. Aww. I was looking forward to having a little one to lord it over. What with me being the runt of the litter. Thought I'd finally have a chance to prove to the world that I could be a big brother. That's so cute. Imperials came the day she went into labor. Aww. Had myself a baby sister. And then I didn't. My whole family gone in a blink. While I hid in the cellar like the spineless little arsehole I was. Great brother I turned out to be. I'll never be a leader. And I'll never be a hero. I'm just a daft little dog who comes running when his master calls. I'll never be like you, or Sid, or Jill, or even Toggle. <laughs> Have you finished? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you know why? You're our best scout. Because you don't need anyone to hold your hand. Without your resourcefulness, your courage, your determination, I don't know where we'd be. Maybe hanging off a cliff like... Uh... <laughs> that was only the once. Exactly. <laughs> you learn from it, and here you are after founder knows how many missions stronger for everyone. <laughs> and let's not forget Rosalith. Who was it who freed me from the dungeon? Who was it who ran to Jill's rescue? That would be me. Because you're our brother, Gav. My brother. Oh. <laughs> Your brother. Which means that when the time comes. I get your room <laughs> and your sword. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I 
I'm not ready for tomorrow. <laughs> Doing all the side quests were definitely worth it, though. It really just builds so much with all the characters, you know? I may have had one too many. You may have had ten too many. <laughs> uh, I said I was thirsty. Oh my god, speaking of being thirsty. Gotta get back to work anyway. <sighs> After I walk this off. Uh, Clive? What is it? Thanks for, you know. I know. Uh, <laughs> tomorrow's gonna suck bro it's okay it'll be the epic conclusion to this game and i can't wait to cry and uh yeah for those of you who've beaten it you're probably crying a little bit too you're like damn <laughs> about to see just get so sad but uh yeah thanks for chilling thanks for being here it means the world to me that you guys hang out with me you could be doing anything else with your fucking time which over here is spend time with my dumb ass um